Shalom, and welcome to the Satellite Bible Atlas, video number 6, map 1-4. The focus of map 1-4 is the Jezreel Valley and Lower Galilee. The general location of the terrain of map 1-4 is situated in the north-central area of the land of Israel. We described in video number 3 how the Jezreel Valley is a wide, flat plain between the central hill country to the south and mountainous Galilee to the north. This makes the Jezreel Valley a hub of international routes that crisscross Israel, a kind of grand central station. Before we take a closer look at the Jezreel Valley and the routes that come in and out of the valley from all directions, let's first see the regions that surround the Jezreel Valley. To the west is Mount Carmel, including the Shvela or foothills of Carmel. Northwest is the plain of Asher, which spreads out from the modern seaport city of Haifa on the slope of Mount Carmel to Akko Ptolemais in the north. North of the Jezreel Valley is Lower Galilee, a series of east to west running mountain ranges that are bisected by wide plains. Note the town of Nazareth on the mountainous ridge just north of the Jezreel Valley. On the east, note eastern Lower Galilee, and to the southeast, Mount Gilboa. Between eastern Lower Galilee and Mount Gilboa is the wide Herod Valley, which serves as a route to and from the east. Finally, note the Jordan Rift Valley, including the Sea of Galilee and the Lower Jordan River Plain. From a high spot on Mount Carmel, let's get a view of the Jezreel Valley from west to east. Note the agricultural productivity of the Jezreel Valley. The name Jezreel means God will plant. Looking across the valley, some 10 to 15 miles away, are the Nazareth Ridge, Mount Tabor, and the Hill of Moray. Turning just a bit to the south, here's the Hill of Moray, the Herod Valley, and Mount Gilboa. Now let's take a closer look at the routes and site locations associated with the Jezreel Valley. One Bible geographer called the Jezreel Valley a stage with entrances and exits that lead to and from other nations. The southwest entrance exit of the Jezreel Valley leads to the coastal plain and ultimately to Egypt. These gates are called the Mount Carmel Passes. They follow valleys that pass through Mount Carmel. Where the passes enter the Jezreel Valley, one pass is guarded by the city of Megiddo, the other by Jokneum. Above Jokneum, on Mount Carmel, is the traditional location of Elijah's contest with the prophets of the Phoenician god Baal. We're on Mount Carmel, where Elijah contested the prophets of Baal, showing that Baal was nothing and Yahweh was the true god. Here is an aerial photograph of the ruins of Megiddo, well situated to oversee activity in the Jezreel Valley. Most importantly, Megiddo supervised the important pass connecting the Jezreel Valley with the coastal plain. The modern highway runs through the Megiddo Pass. Map 2-5 shows a campaign of Pharaoh Thutmose III. This pharaoh may be the one who caused Moses to flee to Midian. Thutmose III made multiple campaigns into Canaan in an effort to secure control of trade routes in the plains. On one of those campaigns, Thutmose boasted of attacking Megiddo via the narrow Megiddo Pass. Giving a pep talk to his troops, he declared, Capturing Megiddo is like capturing 1,000 cities. The northwest gate of the Jezreel Valley is the Kishon Pass. All of the Jezreel Valley is drained by the Kishon River, which exits the valley along the foot of Mount Carmel to the northwest, ending at the Mediterranean Sea. The route follows the river along Mount Carmel to the plain of Asher. This Google Earth photo shows Mount Carmel and the Kishon Pass. The photo is oriented to the west. North is to the right. Here's the tip of the Jezreel Valley. Here is Mount Carmel. And the Kishon Pass that connects the Jezreel Valley to the plain of Asher and the Mediterranean Sea. Also visible are the Jokneum Pass through Mount Carmel and Tel Jokneum where the route joins the Jezreel Valley. As Map 6-3 shows, the Israel-Phoenicia alliance in the days of Ahab and Jezebel utilized the Kishon Pass in the transfer of materials, culture, and religion between these two nations. 
The north gate to the Jezreel Valley is the Shimron Pass. The Shimron Pass uses a valley to join with an important east-west route that connects Akko with the Sea of Galilee. More remote in the hills above this region is the village of Nazareth, where Jesus grew up. Behind us is Nazareth, the town where Jesus grew up. Okay, we're here in um, Nazareth, and this is the hometown of Jesus. And he was teaching here in the beginning of his um, Galilean ministry in the synagogue. And the reaction from the people there was so strong that they wanted to, well, they wanted to take him up to the um, brow of the hill, which is here. In the same hilly region near Nazareth, only two miles away, is Gath Hefer, the hometown of the prophet Jonah. Also nearby is Sephorus, an important Roman town, the regional capital of Galilee when Jesus was a youth. To the north, across the wide Bet Netofa plain, is Jotapeda, where the Jewish general and historian Josephus Flavius was captured by the Romans, and Cana, where Jesus performed his first miracle. Hi, we're here in the city of Sephoris near Nazareth, and behind me across the valley is the ruin of the city of Cana, where Jesus did his first miracle, turning water into wine. Archaeological excavations at Cana have exposed a late 1st century AD building, which is likely a synagogue, including this base and pillar. The northeast gate exits the Jezreel Valley between the hill of Moray and Mount Tabor. Therefore, we call this gate the Tabor Pass. Right now we're at a ridge near Nazareth, and to my right you can see Mount Tabor and also the Valley of Jezreel where Barak and Deborah fought a battle against Javan and Sisera of Hatzor and where the Lord gave them great victory. Also behind me is the Mount of Moray where a city known as Nain sits on the ridge and that is where the Lord Jesus Christ raised uh, a son of a poor widow from the dead. The Tabor Pass is part of the great international route that connects with nations further north. Note the Wadi Arbel, where the route drops down to the plain of Gennesaret along the Sea of Galilee. This photo shows the Wadi Arbel region. The international route comes along the northwestern side of the Sea of Galilee, then north. On map 13, note the continuation of the great international route. From the Jezreel Valley to the Sea of Galilee, the route climbs north to the city of Hatsor in the Hula Valley. The route continues north in the Hula Valley to the region around Dan, where it branches to Lebanon, or Damascus of Syria, and beyond to Mesopotamia. The east gate of the Jezreel Valley is the Harod Valley route, connecting the cities of Jezreel and Beth Shan. The Jezreel Valley is shaped like an arrowhead. The Harod Valley is the shaft of the arrow, running along the north side of Mount Gilboa. On map 1-3, Note how the gateway to the east, the Harod Valley, intersects with the important route in the Jordan Rift Valley at the city of Beth Shan. From here there is access up into Gilead. One route intersects with the Trans-Jordan International Highway, or the way to Bashan, at the city of remote Gilead. Here is a beautiful aerial photograph from the Pictorial Library of Bible Lands collection. We're looking at Mount Gilboa and the Harod Valley from west to east. Here is the modern kibbutz and ancient Tel Jezreel, Mount Gilboa, the Harod Valley, the modern route in the Harod Valley maneuvering past irrigation and fish ponds to Beth Shan. Here is a portion of the Rift Valley and off to the east the hills of Gilead. There are many biblical events that show the Harod Valley was an important route. As marked on map 4-6, the Lord chose 300 men in the days of Gideon at the Herod Spring, near the city of Jezreel at the base of Mount Gilboa. The Midianites were across the Herod Valley at the foot of the hill of Moray. When Gideon blew the trumpet, the Midianites panicked and fled down the Herod Valley, crossed the Jordan River, and tried to escape further east through Gilead. We are at the spring of Herod where the Lord chose 300 men in the days of Gideon to conquer the Midianites. In Saul's final days, the Philistines encamped at Shunem near the hill of Moray. 
they were in a position to not only compete for control of the important routes in the Jezreel Valley, but also to drive a wedge between Israelite northern and southern tribes. King Saul gathered his forces at Jezreel, and then snuck around the Philistines to get counsel from a witch at Endor, to no avail. The next day Saul was wounded, retreated and died on Mount Gilboa. The Philistines found his body and hung it on the walls of Beth Shan. We're at Beth Shan. We're standing on a Roman street. And behind us is the mound, is the Canaanite Israelite mound where the Philistines dragged Saul's body and hung it up. Ahab, the Baal worshipping king of Israel, killed Naboth of Jezreel and confiscated Naboth's land. Not long afterwards, Ahab convinced Jehoshaphat of Judah to go up to Ramot Gilead to battle with the Arameans. Ahab was killed at Ramot Gilead by a stray arrow. The Harod Valley to Gilead connection is illustrated by the wild chariot ride of Jehu, who is anointed to wipe out Baal worship in Israel. We're at the city of Jezreel. Behind us is the Herod Valley, and Jehu rode his chariot wildly up the valley and came here to the city, killing both the king of Judah and the king of Israel and having Jezebel thrown out the window. Very good. <laughs> That's it. And finally, the southern gate of the Jezreel Valley, the Bible calls the Ascent of Gur. The continuation of this route is shown on map 1-3. It ascends into the hills of Samaria at Iblium, and just before Dotan splits. One branch toward the city of Samaria and the other toward Tirza. The routes rejoin at Shechem, where it continues south on the watershed route, the road of the patriarchs. So these are the gates in and out of the Jezreel Valley. The Mount Carmel passes to the coastal plain in Egypt. The Kishon Pass to the plain of Asher, and the Mediterranean Sea, the Shimron Pass beyond the Nazareth Ridge, the Tabor Pass, a continuation of the great international route to the northeast, the Herod Valley Route with connections to the Jordan Rift Valley and Gilead, and the ascent of Gur into Samaria. We're on Mount Carmel where Elijah contested with the, what was it, the something of Baal? <laughs> Hey everybody, we're in the water system at Megiddo, which was carved by King Ahab of Israel. It is, uh, across the valley is the city of Cana, where Jesus, okay, can we do this? To fight, no, the Midianites who fought to, in the days of Gideon, to go out and defeat the um, Amorites, Ammonites, Midianites. <laughs> We're overlooking the Jezreel Valley, and behind me is Mount Tabor, where Deborah and Barak gathered 10,000. Um, we're standing here at Sephoris uh, in the sea. Uh. All right, we're in Sephoris in Galilee, and right behind us is the city of Nazareth, where Jesus grew up. Right behind me. Oh man, sorry. We are at Megiddo, and we're overlooking the Jezreel Valley. To the north is the Nazareth Ridge. And <laughs> I can't remember. And to my right is, or left, though. Is that you, Zimri, murder of your master? <laughs> is there anyone up there with me? <laughs> Throw her down! In where she died, and I forget, where he had Jezebel killed by throwing her out the window, this pretty much wiped out the all worship in all of the northern kingdom. <laughs> Sorry.